I guess before we get into it, how do you guys feel about this culture that we have now? It's it's this meme culture where everybody's talking about, yo, you can't do this or this is a certain queen. How do you how could you cheat on her? And this is like I don't understand the, the dynamic of what we have. Like, all right. I grew up watching Nia Long. I understand. Great actress. But does it need to be anything more than that? Why do people have to make it extra? That's what they fascinated with. They I, fascinated. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Claude, can you explain? Absolutely not. He I has mean. no comment. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to talk <laughs> about it. But I mean, let's get into it. So the Boston Celtics uh put out a press release a few days ago and said that they have suspended their head coach um, for some violations violating team policy now for a year right for a year that's too long so when everybody heard it they were like okay you violated team code or team policy you get a year suspension I don't understand then we saw Adrian Wojnarowski uh, put out that there was some consensual relationship that he had with some staffer, right? So that was the, that was all that came out. Now the internet's crazy, right? You put out information like that, and you don't go into detail about who it is, who's involved. What's going on? What the situation is? People are going to start trying to put the dots together. They fucking selves, right? They're going to look up every woman that's a part of the, the Boston Celtics organization. And they're going to say, well, it's her. It's her. Well, she may look like Nia Long, so maybe it's her. Yeah. Like, so now you got all of these women that are getting harassed and put under the ringer because why the Boston Celtics handled this shit poorly. If you don't want to put out exactly what's going on there's ways to go about it right yeah, I think training so. camp is coming up obviously obviously if you're going to suspend your coach you have to say why you suspended him or maybe just not say anything maybe you can say suspend him team policy he broke team rules or whatever keep it at that right you leave a lot of room for speculation but at least you're not pinpointing something where he's having a consensual relationship with a staffer that's going to make people be like, oh, well, now we got to go digging. Now we got to go digging. That's so what it's they, just like. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah. They're going to keep digging until they find other stuff and try to put pieces together. I mean, I don't think it's going to work, though. Like, even with the suspension, for them suspending him as long as they did. Right. Like, no matter what, people have relationships. It's against their policy, but a year, like. I mean that that's the thing though. Like that's we scarce. Yeah, we don't Did he get know a year for a year. We don't know what else yeah. is gonna come out, right? So, so it's like they, they've been very vague and I'ma just be the person to see where it goes because the first initial reaction that I had was give my year for this? Yeah. Oh, is that like yeah, I mean, like, listen, we we went as as as, as far as to say, you know, they, they were trying to impeach Bill Clinton for doing some wild. Like, he the president, you you can't do this. Yeah, this <laughs> like, is basketball. Like, this man is, He's just this man is the president of the United States. You trying to <laughs> unseat him because he and he, he was like in, in the job. Like, yeah, he was on the job. He was literally on the job, <laughs> right? But you can't do this. The email you don't good. Like, that's my first initial thought. <laughs> but then when the other stuff started to come out saying that you know he had some like. Um, improper comments or something towards a, a staff. Now everybody's like, okay, it's getting a little bit more personal. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more serious. And then the fact that they're not saying yeah. they said exactly it was what it is. So they said it was one employee and then they mentioned another employee that he was messing you with. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. like, it, it's going to get crazy, but son. You think they're going to handle it better than the NFL? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> They're all trying Absolutely. to figure it out. They just yeah. don't want to be sued in all right. types of lawsuits. And That's you gotta remember too. To you gotta remember too. This is the Boston Celtics organization. Like, <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> man, 
this is this is the Boston Celtics organization. They they not gonna know what the hell to do. I think that the way that they're handling it right now is they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> they're just going about it like just gonna see what happens. Cause like women are outraged. They were mad. Like how dare you keep us out there in the loop for all this time? It was like forty eight hours, and but it's like I right, like. It, they're trying to figure this out on the fly, but they're doing a bad fucking job. Terrible. I'll tell you that right now. Terrible. And what's crazy, right, is that the assistant coach, it gets better. The assistant coach that is now the interim head coach, he got a check and pass too. <laughs> he got a check and pass and some assault back in the day of, in college. I was like, what's, what's going on with the Boston Celtics? Oh, As a Laker fan, I ain't going to lie to you. Like, just as, like, organization to organization, I like seeing the disaster, right? But this is a serious topic, so I'm, I got to keep it like that. But it, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen with this because if they wanted to fire him, wouldn't they have just done that? Like, you hear that there was questions asked, oh, what's, gonna, what's his future? Or oh, they don't want to comment on that. But it's like, if you just fire him. If you, you think it was that crazy, you're going to investigate and find some more shit. Just let him go. You're going to suspend him for a year and then fire him? Yeah. That's whack. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Man, there's so many thoughts. Like, you can't even pinpoint them. It's like, I don't know what you want to do. Suspend them. Like, even if you suspend them for a year, then what? You do that right. for a year. You let them sit sit for a year. At that point, and then you find other things. At and that then point, what, you got to move more on. time, or do you just leave it at the same? That's what I'm saying. One year. If you suspend them for the year, right, and whatever investigations happen, whatever happens, whatever comes out, it's either you keep him and move the fuck on, yeah. or they should just find him. That's what I'm like, saying. Because it's, it's going to be an ongoing then investigation. Can't put a that they're price not, tag on not it. Not going to be able to figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Now nah, you're right, Claude. Like it's you and, can't put a price tag on it, right. which is true. But yeah. still, at nah, the end that of the point, day, yeah. it's still a price tag no matter what. Because guess what? Being suspended for a year, you're not getting paid. Facts. It's money coming from somewhere. For sure. Right. So no matter what. Yeah. Or oh, they suspend them. You know what it is? They can't fire them because they're fired to get another job. Maybe so they have nah. To ain't nobody so gonna touch him. Ain't nobody gonna touch him. If they fire him, this all suits come into play. Right. So they, they gonna fire. Him. That's all you gonna hear. <laughs> Everybody is not gonna. They're not gonna touch him at all. Yeah. They're not gonna touch him at all. Like yeah. everything is with a fine tooth comb. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, they gotta wait. But I mean, like, yeah, and then people are like, "Yo, poor Neil Long," and I'm like, "Yo, <laughs> y'all don't even know her." Like everybody's yeah. obsessed with the beauty. That's yeah, all we're thinking about. Man. Not thinking about. There's what I think about Fresh Prince. And that was it. I mean, she she did look nice. <laughs> and it, it didn't even work out with her him and Will, her and Will back in the day. Now, let me tell you, you, you know when Nia Long looked the best? You remember her in Big Mama's house? Big Mama's house. Fast. Yeah. Yo, yeah. son. Yeah. Did it even work out for her in that movie? Like, did she I don't even care. I was just, Nia Long. I, I was just, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. all people care Right, about. exactly. At that point, it was like, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter what happens. I don't even care what the plot was. <laughs> Don't even care. This is true. That's all they cared about. Yeah. It being Neil Long. Facts. I mean, yo, we even had like like people, like politicians talking about this this joint. Talking about, yo, you know, Nia, you know, I'll take it. Like, yo, you what? That was their baby you, girl. You a politician. What are you doing? <laughs> they had to talk about it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I, I mean, listen, it's something that I hope they... Resolve it because listen, the Boston Celtics, they were in the NBA, fi- they were in the NBA Finals last year. Like they were a finalist team. They're a good basketball team. Yep. So for them to now have to deal with this, have to answer questions about this all year. You know what I'm saying? Because as more details come out, obviously star players are gonna have to answer questions, right? And it's gonna be a completely Did you guys distracting know about thing. This? Right. Were you in on it? <laughs> Did you do it too? Did you guys yeah. go out and notice this? Yeah. Uh. Did you tell Neil Long? Like, <laughs> did you talk to her? <laughs> so now, now he's suspended. But can he like have any interaction co- with the team? Ah, exactly. uh, nah, he can't. I, I don't think he can have any okay. type of interaction with the. Because at that point, it's like, yeah, we're he's gonna suspend more, him. But meanwhile, he's still, still coaching. Right? What do you think about the zone? Right? right? No, that's what he's doing. I ain't gonna lie to you. If 
Poor Ime Doga. I'm, I'm going to say I feel sorry for him in this in this situation here. The fact that he can't go to work no more and, and be distracted <laughs> from, like, just being at work. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know how sometimes you like to get out of your house and just, like, being at work gives you that little escape, right? He got to be in the house. <laughs> he got to find a new hobby. <laughs> he got to be in the house now with the... <laughs> with the fire <laughs> what he, listen I, I feel bad for him I feel bad for him man but he you put himself in that situation you know he put himself in that situation man like we don't know the dynamic between their relationship obviously everybody knows that he's been with her since I think what uh, 2010 they've been engaged since 2015 long time long time, long time. you know what I'm saying man not, you not married changes. Long time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, you, we, we can go down a rabbit hole and make uh, have a discussion about that. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do it. I'm not going to do it here. I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to leave it alone. Right? I'm going to leave Ime Doga and Nia Long's seven-year-long engagement alone. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave it alone, man. I'm going to leave it alone. 